Hello, I'm Gavin Escolar, founder of the Chaga Company, and we are here on Chaga Chat. We are very honored to have Ian Garoni, which is one of the owners of Far West Fungi, one of, if anything, the best mushroom store in all of San Francisco and arguably all of California. Hi, Ian, how are you? I'm doing well, Gavin, how are you? I'm well, thanks. I'm really excited to have you in today. Um, we're going to talk about how you can grow your own mushrooms at home, especially in this quarantine area. Everybody wants to stay home or mandate to stay home. What do you do better yet than grow your own food? And yes, this is, I mean, what is going on right now at our warehouse is really just shipping a ton of these guys out to everybody. And it seems to be, you know, if you go online, people are, there's contests going on, who can grow the most, who can turn it into, you know, a, a wonderful recipe. So if you go to onto our Instagram right now, you can kind of see what everybody has been doing with the, their blocks and kind of showing what they look like after, you know, growing it out in just like about 10 days of production. Wow. Oh, so tell me more. What's your Instagram profile account? So it's Far West Fungi. Basically everything. If you want to find us, it's pretty, pretty much a unique name. Far West Fungi is going to get you to us. But uh, on Instagram, it's, uh, it's Far West Fungi. Awesome. So I can't wait for you to teach us how to grow our own mushrooms. All home. right. Well, I, I brought in, well, I have here one of our, our blocks right here. So this okay. is like what you're going to get if you were to order one online from us or go into any of our locations and grab one. Um, and this is, this happens to be a shiitake uh -huh. um, variety right here. So it is exactly what, what we produce at our farm right now. And we're doing about uh, just around 3000 of these every day that go into oh, production. Okay. Yeah. So if they're, Ideally, we're harvesting them off and they go and, and are sold throughout the state. But um, we do take a small percentage of them out of that uh, harvest um, or out of the incubation room and we put them into these beautiful boxes. And what's cool about these guys is they come with a full set of instructions. So you don't have to listen to me talk all day. You can get like, you know, a full set of instructions that kind of tell you everything that you need to know. Uh -huh. um, and then also we have, you know, uh, customer support where if you call us or, you, you know, you go online, you're going to talk to somebody from the family or somebody here in person on the phone. And that's kind of how we do things. It's not like you're going to leave a message or we're going to like send you, it's not going to go back and forth through emails and, and whatnot. We just recommend calling if you have a, a, a issue with one of these kits here, but this is kind of what you get mm, in this okay. Kit. And this is five pounds of substrate, uh -huh. and then we put in our lab, we put a little bit of a culture, the living organism, and it takes, for a shiitake, it takes about 13 weeks to get it to this point right here in incubation. So that means that it's ready to pop out? It is, it is ready to go. Uh, we would, about two days ago, this guy was on his way into a growing room where mm -hmm. we were going to open the bag, and all these little you can kind of see a few pins here i don't know how well yeah, you can, can see that there close oh i can see that yeah. little the, there's a little mushroom food. starting right there yeah uh sometimes you get them and they're a little bit more advanced but this guy's looking pretty good there's another guy like right there you can kind of see a little oh, girl wow, that's guy, cool. right so um so this guy would have would have been opened up in the room and then about seven to ten days later we would have came by and just kind of trimmed them all off with a pair of scissors but instead he was grabbed from his location and uh, we changed out the bag to a brand new bag for you. And you basically take this bag, you're going to grow everything indoors away from direct sunlight. So in your laundry room or in your garage, someplace that, you know, is fairly clean and clean means like, you know, keep it away from ripe fruit, keep it away from maybe uh, like a, if you have shag carpet, probably not its best friends. You're just trying to keep uh, a clean surface, so any stainless steel, um, if you have a closet that doesn't have a lot of stuff in it, it's usually a good place to kind of grow it out. Mm -hmm. um, stay away from kitchens and bathrooms. I think a lot of people think, oh, that's ideally a great place to grow them because, you know, there's a little Boys bit of moisture and stuff. But you, you kind of want to avoid that and go for a laundry room. That's where I grow mine. If I grow in a home, it's in the laundry room because it's like I'm there a couple times a week. Mm -hmm. You know, doing laundry, I can kind of take a look at it. If there's mushrooms growing, I pick them off. And then next week, they're probably going to regenerate again. So, mm -hmm. but you got this right here. You're going to open up the bag. Um, you're going to poke holes in the bag mm -hmm. and tie this off at the top. So it's kind of domed up. And I can do one of these here for you real quick. Yeah. Um, 
We get yeah. live demo from Ian Garoni. Oh boy, this is, this is how this we do is, it. This is a uh, rare experience, you guys. Oh, here we go. So, so I just grab it like this. Uh huh. Yeah, I get it like that. It's just gonna sit like this, and then I'm gonna cut the little. I'm gonna cut little X's in there to give it a little more oxygen. Uh huh. X's on, on on the wood block itself. On the on, on, on the bag. On the bag. Okay. Okay. The okay. bag, and that's basically to trap in some moisture. You can see that we've trapped in. We have a little bit of moisture here. Uh huh. And you're keeping the humidity levels up. Oh, so there's going to be a little bit of moisture already in that bag. Okay, yeah. It has a little bit of humidity. Um, the, when the mushrooms grow, because they're going to grow fairly rapidly, uh -huh. um, you don't want the outside of the mushroom to crack or dry out because it will kind of mm -hmm. slow down the growth or deform the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. So by adding the moisture inside the bag, it mm -hmm. keeps it growing. There's, there's plenty of moisture for the, the mushroom inside. You to don't grow. have to water any. You don't have to do yeah. anything. No, you're just creating a little bit of humidity inside of it. So don't you don't have to get carried away with the moisture. This is probably could stay like this for about three or four days, and then I would check on it again. And if it seemed like the bag was dry, I'd add a little bit of moisture to that. And then I just tie it up like this and, and have it sit in, say, in my, you know, my laundry room. And that's it. that's it. That's it. And then probably in about seven days, I'm going to really start seeing good-sized pinned mushrooms. Uh huh. Um, that are going to be about yay big. They're going to start right. growing off of it, and that's about where you want it to be with a rounded edge. A lot of people like will tell me like, "Oh, it grew and it started to look like an like an umbrella that blow, blew out," and that's usually a sign that it was probably it's too mature. I see. You wanted to have that nice rounded edge to it, and then you trim it down at the base. Uh huh. And there'll be a little bit left on the block where mm -hmm. it connects to the block you want to kind of twist and pull that off okay? Um, because that is a dead material. And if you go for your second harvest or third harvest, sometimes four harvests of mushrooms, mm -hmm. um, that little leftover bit that's left on the block will deteriorate mold and it could cause mold to grow throughout your block. So you're trying to okay. keep it because this is like a perfect environment for fungi or mold or mildew um, if it's left a little bit of decayed matter on there it's gonna kind of spread across the block oh I see so make yeah. sure you get that thing out get it out this has like this has been completely taken over by the the shiitake mushroom but uh -huh. after that first harvest it's kind of immune system has dropped because it's just taken so much of the energy out that it, right. it does have the opportunity for a green mold to jump on there so we usually tell people just to kind of either scrape that off or dab a little bit of a bleach, like a little bit of a bleach in a water solution mm -hmm. and kind of dab it onto the, like the little green mold area. And that usually takes care of it. Um, <clears throat> and then once you've gone through and produced a couple, um, say like a couple harvests off of this, it gets, it gets pretty dry. Okay. And that's where you would like soak the entire block in a little bit of water It'll absorb the moisture and then you'll get another harvest out of it. Oh. So you have enough, it's enough nutrients for two pounds of mushrooms. Oh, wow. And so we, cool. we guarantee the first harvest or like a, a, it to grow, you know. So if you have problems with it, you call us. Uh, if you're going to deviate from the instructions, you call us and we'll kind of hopefully guide you through if there's any problems. But if there is, say it didn't grow at all, which they all grow. They all seem to grow really well, but if, if, if you have a serious problem, we, we do replace them. Oh, nice. um, it does happen every once in a while. Oh, it's mushroom blooming, mushroom blooming Guarantee by Ian Garoni, a farmer. Yeah, guy. personally. Oh, Ian told me. Yes, Ian I did. Told me. Yeah, there you yeah. go. <laughs> you heard this in the Chaga Chats today. So, mm -hmm. Ian, um, if you're a beginner of growing mushrooms, what mushroom varieties would be the perfect one to start off with? With a shiitake, oyster, or what kind of, um, what other varieties do you have? So we do grow five, or we have five varieties that we consider to be like a mainstream uh, mushroom mini farm. Uh, mm -hmm. Shiitake and oyster. We have really uh, developed and, and had as a, a mini farm since uh, 82, since we kind of, my parents really found, founded the, the company. Uh, mm -hmm. It was there, it has been kind of a mail order um, or really a kind of a Christmas gift uh, idea that they've been doing for the longest time. Mm -hmm. And they are really, truly 
the workhorses. They produce the most. They're the easiest. They're kind of for everybody to produce and, and produce well. Um, the, and, the and the oyster, the standard oyster. If you wanted to grow like these beautiful pink oysters here, mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you can wow, that's see the beautiful. color on that, but it should be like a, that kind of nice vibrant pink on there um, or a yellow variety of this. They are blocks that we do have available. Um, and they grow as well as the oysters, maybe not as much production on them. They're a little bit more finicky because they're a tropical variety, but they do, um, they do grow really well and we have those kits. And then also the lion's mane, um, we have kits for this as well. That's amazing. That is so good. For me, if it's like a crab and a lobster made love and popped out a mushroom, that's it. Th this, is, this is definitely the guy. And it's good, yeah. for your, it's good for your brain, so it's a good one as well. Um, so that's we, easy to grow too, the lion's mane mushroom. Uh, I would say that it is, it's easy to grow. We don't, I don't think we make anything that is really hard to grow. And for people who say, oh, I can't grow, I, you know, plants are, are really hard for me. Plants are really hard for me. Um, mm -hmm. I don't have a green thumb, but uh, it's pretty easy. To have, it's, pretty, it's pretty good to have like a brown thumb. These are brown <laughs> thumbs over here. And everybody has a brown thumb because you just kind of let them go and they do their thing and they're going to grow well. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So, yeah. And then, so you have different sizes. You have your grow kit. And then this one actually comes with a Chaga Company Cafe test home experience. This is from Far West Fungi. Yes. This is their oyster mushrooms. Yay. Yay. <laughs> this, is, this is the kind of like take home, learn how mushrooms actually grow. We've done all the hard work for this one. We've uh -huh. done the majority of that. And you really just benefit from picking and harvesting. But this yes. guy here, this one, we actually make you go through the whole process of incubation and, you know, dealing with the, the spore or the seed. And they're, I think they're a whole lot more fun. Um, they're also set up, the instructions on these guys are kind of cool because they're, they're really set up for like a, a seven-year-old to a, like a nine-year-old. You can kind of go through them. Um, that's an illustration of my, my nephew there, Owen. Oh, that's amazing. Um, I have this one too. There you go. Yay. Yeah, yeah. And you have the little, the little thing that you can draw on the back if you want a little map um, to, for the kids to kind of draw on or color in. And it just kind of goes through, yeah, your whole everything all your, your information on there and it's super easy. Um, this was set up as a kind of started off with my brothers as kind of science fair uh, project. So each brother, there's four of us that are in the business. We all had our science fair uh -huh. uh, and every brother seemed to make a more complex um, variation of the kit than, than the next. Um, but then we were, we kind of uh, made it available for people to, to kind of grow at home and uh, for teachers. So, you know, a lot of teachers will grab one of these guys and we send the spawn out and then you get a whole class of kids that are making it. So really would be interesting now to have um, the, you know, at home, yes. uh, you know, for kids, you know, everybody's doing the Zoom for class um, online. So like doing this at home would be great. And then they can stash it in their, in their closet and grow these guys out. But they're a whole lot of fun. And and you, you guys are selling these now. How's that, how's that all working for you? Yeah, so we're, we're selling this at the Chaga Company Cafe Home Experience. So we have Palo Santo. We, it comes with like, the, it's, it's supposed to Chaga charge you mind, body, and soul. So you, you have one of this, so it will educate you, mind. <laughs> and then you have your Chaga and you have your Palo Santo. We also comes with a crystal wand that you can massage each other and yourself. So <laughs> it's, 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 it's that whole experience that we want to bring the Chaga Company home experience with you. And that's predominantly mushrooms. And yeah, yeah you can order this one in my website at www.thechagaco.com under the Chaga Company home cafe experience test kit. And uh, of course, at Ian Garoni's um, mm -hmm. www.farwestfungi.com for any one of his bro kits too as well. And you should do it right now because there's nothing better to do at home, but grow mushrooms <laughs> and you your own too. Your own mushrooms too as well. <laughs> um, Absolutely. Thank you so much for this, uh, for, um, for learning about uh, how to grow your own mushrooms and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks Ian. All right. Thank you Gavin, take care. Okay, thanks. All right, bye.